Hi there. This video continues from the previous video that I did on algebraic division, but in this video I'm going to explain the factor theorem, which is a consequence of the remainder theorem. Okay? So firstly, the factor theorem. So if you have a polynomial f of x, and if f of a value a is equal to zero, okay, then x minus a is a factor of your polynomial f of x. As I said earlier, this factor theorem is a consequence of the remainder theorem. So let me go through the remainder theorem. So if f of x, your polynomial, is divided by x minus a, then the remainder can be found by working out f of a. So let's see the remainder theorem with the following examples. So with example one, find the remainder when part a 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 1 and this polynomial we're going to find the remainder when it's divided by x minus 3. So let's see the remainder theorem in action so back to the paper and pen. So remember you can work out the remainder in two ways. One way is to use algebraic division okay uh, and you can use the remainder theorem that is method number two so let me go through the steps behind the remainder theorem. Here is step number one. Now, for the remainder theorem, f of x is your polynomial. So here is my polynomial, okay? Because in, the, in this expression, the highest power of x is bigger than one. So I let f of x be my polynomial, which is 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 1 and in step 1 I always take the linear so the linear is x minus 3 and I equate that to 0 always okay so this is always equated to 0 in the first step so if I rearrange from here on the x value when I take the minus 3 to the opposite side is plus 3 so that takes us to the last step. The last step is step number two. So in order to work out the remainder, so therefore the remainder, and I tend to use R for the remainder, to calculate R, it's F of this value of X that you worked out in step one. So we need to calculate F of three, okay? So to work out f of 3, it's straightforward. All you do is replace the x's here by 3's. So if I replace the x's here by 3's, I'll get 2 into x, which is 3. So 3 cubed minus the 5 into x, which is 3. So 3 squared plus the 4 into an x, which is 3 plus the 1 at the end. Okay, so when you calculate this, the answer is 22. Okay, so this should be the solution for the remainder of division when you divide this polynomial by the linear x minus 3 using the remainder theorem. Okay, so here are the steps for the remainder theorem. So I've applied the steps to part A. So I have another example. Let's find the remainder using the remainder theorem. But in this case, we're going to divide in part B 4x cubed plus 4x plus 1 by x plus 1. OK, so let's see the remainder theorem in action again. So back to the paper and pen. So 4x cubed plus 4x plus 1 by x plus 1. So let's have a look at step 1. So earlier, f of x is your polynomial. So I'm going to let f of x be, in this case, so my polynomial reads 4x cubed plus 4x plus 1. And, so and, you take the linear term, so the linear term is x plus 1, and you equate that to 0 always. So it's always equated to the 0, okay? So if you rearrange from here, the x value, if you take the plus 1 to the opposite side, is minus 1. So that takes you to step number 2. 
Okay. So let's have a look at step number two. So in the earlier example, to calculate the remainder R, you need F of the value of X in step one. Okay. So in part B, to work out the remainder, so the remainder R will be, so R is equal to F of, okay, and the value of X in step number one is minus one. So to work out F of minus one is straightforward. Replace the X's here by minus ones. So I'm gonna have four in two, so four in two, X is minus one cubed, plus four in two, X is minus one, plus the one at the end, okay? And if you calculate this, so that is straightforward, you should get minus seven. So minus seven is the remainder when the polynomial in part B is divided by the linear, okay? One thing to note is the remainder theorem is only used when a polynomial is divided by a linear, okay? So if you have a question to work out the remainder, uh, you can only use the remainder theorem if you have a polynomial and if that polynomial is divided by a linear term. Okay. Now, back to the screenshots. So just one more. So part C. So part C, we need to work out the remainder when 9x cubed plus 4, the polynomial, is divided by 3x plus 2, R linear. So back to the paper and pen, let's apply the remainder theorem. So in step number one, let's remind ourselves, step number one in the last example, f of x is your polynomial, okay? And you let your linear and you equate your linear to zero always. So back to the current example. So we let f of x, and our polynomial is 9x cubed plus 4. And we take the linear, which is 3x plus 2, and we equate that to 0 always. Okay? So if I rearrange from here on, if I take the plus 2 to the right, 3x will be minus 2. And x, therefore, is minus 2 over 3. So that takes us to the last step, step number two. So let's go back to the previous example. Step number two, to work out the remainder R, we need F of the value of X arising from step one. Okay, so back to part C. So in order to work out the remainder, so the remainder R will be F of the value of X in step number one is minus 2 over 3. So let's replace the x's by minus 2 over 3's in f of x to give us 9 into x which is minus 2 over 3 so minus 2 over 3 cubed plus 4. Okay so the calculation from here on is straightforward as a fraction you should get 4 over 3. So that should be the remainder of division when you divide the polynomial in part C by the linear, okay? So that completes this example and that sadly uh, ends this video. So if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed the video, a like would be very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.